This is a bezoar from a 19th century cow's stomach. They're formed in ruminant animals' stomachs by chewing hair, and then that forms into a hardened mass, almost a stone, that can then be taken from the animal when the animal has died. Since medieval times, people believed that these were endowed with healing properties and they were used mainly as an antidote for poisons. It looks very well coiffed. It's completely smooth, almost like the back of a woman's bun. Um, and that's because it's been in the stomach and kind of washed all over, almost like a stone in the ocean. And it becomes very, very smooth, more like a rock than a hairball. So, do bezoars really work? The French apothecary Pierre Palme ran a high-end pharmacy in a trendy neighborhood of Paris in the late 17th century. In 1684, he writes this book, which is called A General History of Drugs. Among the remedies that Palme talks about are pulverized mummies, tobacco, opium, and even of unicorn horn. Palme also talks about bezoars and the animals that produce them. This high leaping goat found in the East Indies produced a very powerful bezoar that was thought to drive away malignant humors. But what we really know bezoars as an antidote to poisons. A century before, the French barber surgeon Ambrose Paré sets out to test whether bezoars work or not. Paré at the time is serving as court physician to King Charles, and during his time there, a man is brought to trial for stealing some of the king's silverware. That man is going to be put to death no matter what, so Paré sees an opportunity and he says, can I test my bezoar on him and administer a poison, and if the bezoar works, then the man can go free. The king agrees, and at the end of seven hours after that dosage, the man dies a horrible, agonizing death. And Paré decides, oh, I guess bezoars don't really work. A century later, as we've seen with Palme, these are still being used and sold and marketed as true medical aids, so there's still some belief in their efficacy. I think the bezoar is special because it's unexpected. It's astonishing that something that looks this good came from a cow's stomach in the 19th century.